Genetic testing such as Ancestry.com will eventually be used by insurance companies as an excuse to raise people's rates slash deny coverage for them. Insurance companies, social media and corporations will use it for targeted advertising, employers will use it to determine health insurance rates for employees and project tenure, law enforcement already abuses it, it's all terrible please stop giving your DNA to companies. Coke switched the recipe to new Coke knowing it would fail, then they brought back the original Coke with refined sugar instead of cane sugar, to hide the actual change they wanted to make. As for you, you will be submerged in royal slurm which, in a matter of minutes, will transform you into a slurm queen like myself. But, your highness, she's a commoner. Her slurm will taste foul. Yes. Which is why we'll market it as new slurm. Then, when everyone hates it, we'll bring back Slurm Classic and make billions. That the Panama Papers were intentionally silenced in the media. It was revealed that the rich and powerful conspire to hoard masses of wealth in secret offshore accounts, and it was forgotten about within a couple of weeks. The journalist who broke the story was killed by car bomb, so yeah. Epstein didn't kill himself. I don't even count Epstein as a conspiracy theory lol it's practically fact. The guards fell asleep and the cameras weren't working sounds like a cartoon like some s asterisk 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 that happens when you're trying to steal a bunch of Dalmatians or mayo. Banksy is actually Neil Budgen and from Art Attack. Elaborate. Michael Jordan's forage toe baseball in the middle of his GOAT career was cover for being suspended for betting on games. And his dad was murdered by the people he owed those debts to. That one where scientists were apparently paid by corporations to publish that fad was the enemy, not sugar. Sugar really is the enemy. 2020 Nashville bombing. I'm surprised I haven't been able to read any conspiracy theories, but that took out a good chunk of communications. It had to have been done for some other purpose. And whoever did it managed to not kill anyone, if my memory serves. That the journalist Gary Webb was right. The CIA did in fact flood the inner cities with massive amounts of drugs, particularly crack cocaine, to fund counterinsurgency operations in Central America. There was a lot in the popular press that debunked the story back in the late 80s and early 90s, but he's also another journalist who ended up dead. Yeah this isn't even a conspiracy at this point it's so obvious and gross. I genuinely believe you could put about 20 of the right people in the same room and control 80% of the US economy. It may not be the legendary Illuminati society or whatever, but there are a few super rich families running pretty much everything without impunity. The wealth of ultra high net worth individuals who number less than 500,000 worldwide, is estimated at over 50 trillion US dollars when taking into account offshore accounts. That's as much as the GDP of the USA China, Japan, Germany and the UK put together. It's less than 0.01% of the world's population. They do run things. 1. Epstein didn't kill himself, although who gives a res asterisk asterisk asterisk, if he did or not, because f asterisk 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 that guy, too. Lee Harvey Oswald wasn't solely responsible for the assassination of JFK in 1963, 3. The media is, at least partially, responsible for the tensions in this country. I'm honestly amazed that the people haven't completely revolted against the corporate media. That modern products are purposefully built with limited lifespan, so manufacturers can always sell you new ones once in a while. That there is some gentleman's agreement within the industry that everyone should make products that don't last long, so all can make money. The planned obsolescence is real. See the light bulb conspiracy. 8 hot dog buns 10 hot dogs. The media in the United States is deliberately trying to inflame racial tensions. Outrage sells. They don't care about the greater good, integrity or what's right. They just want the sweet advertising dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign. Not a conspiracy theory, fact. I guess you could call it a court, because nobody wants to believe it. In the 80s a conspiracy theory was stuff like aliens anal probed my butt. In the 2020s a conspiracy theory is just censorship about a fact that one political party doesn't like. 
the CIA actually came up with the conspiracy theorist term to discredit those making allegations about the government. The one that says Ghislaine Maxwell was a prolific and popular editor seems kinda convincing and isn't particularly far-fetched. What's this? Can you share more? The food industry and the healthcare system, especially in America, are in bed together. There's is no profits to be gained, stolen from, a healthy society, but there is availability in financially exploiting a perpetually sick society. That all Reddit users are just AI. Zero zero one zero 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 one 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 zero one zero 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 one one zero one 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 zero zero one zero 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 one 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 zero one zero one zero one 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 zero zero one one JFK wasn't assassinated by a lone gunman. According to a documentary I watched it was Edward Morgan Blake was damn good, and I highly recommend watching it. That the government hired Stanley Kubrick to film the fake moon landing, but being the perfectionist that he was, he forced them to film on location. Had me in the first half I'm not gonna lie. Vince Mark Mahone intended to die at Gorilla and wasn't interested in selling the company, the board, who already knew about the allegations around him, and we are keeping them, in reserve for just such an eventuality, then leaked them, in order to get rid of him, so they could ready the company for a sale, while it's still riding the crest of a hugely profitable wave. Mark Malone, knowing this was happening, then tried to put family members in certain positions, before he stepped down, so that he could maintain control from the outside, much as he planned to do in the 90s, when he expected to be jailed over the steroid scandal. Found scene Ross Sapp's Reddit handle. The rise in crime in urban areas from the 70s to the 90s was driven primarily by increased lead levels from leaded gasoline. The negative health effects were well known, but the car and oil industry blocked government intervention for decades. I know many people consider this fact, but most people I bring it up to think it's a conspiracy theory. There is an interesting documentary about the scientist, Claire Patterson, who was trying to prove that lead levels have increased in the water due to leaded gasoline. It took him almost 40 years to prove it. He was essentially fighting big oil and they did everything they could to block him in court. There was literally an organized conspiracy from big oil to cover him up. The only way he was able to prove that lead levels were on the increase was digging up core ice samples in the Antarctic. And then he was able to show that the lead levels were rising depending on the depth of the ice core samples. HTTPS slash slash www.mintalflus.com slash article slash 94569 slash Claire Patterson scientist who determined age earth and then saved it. The crack epidemic being purposefully caused by the Reagan or Nixon administration. Forgot which one. Reagan. Epstein didn't kill himself, and the world is run by a small elite class that are always looking for ways to restrict our liberties and profit off of normal people. Certain news and media sources are secret psyop branches of the government. They manipulate the public into feeling and thinking whatever they need at the time. You could probably change certain to a vast majority. We have very few media outlets now that aren't just propaganda stations. It's where it how both Chester from Linkin Park and FCI both ended their lives soon after they talked about pedophiles in the music industry. I'm not saying they were killed. I'm just saying it's sus. 
Majority of governments are just controlled by sets of opposing corporations with conflicting interests, which is why even in situations where politically there's objectively a wrong and a right answer, the public can still never find agreement because they are being gaslighted by their own elected representatives and this is precisely how a lot of politicians want things to stay. I say this all the time, but it's time to separate business and politics. Separation of powers has been needed in the past. I don't know exactly how to pull this off, but it needs to get done. Get rid of Citizens United. Make the people a third, independent party that doesn't run for office, so you can't just count votes. Business interests are informed they are their own party, that doesn't run for office, but may have a platform and endorse candidates they believe in. Public taxpayer funds can be granted to candidates that work with both of these independent parties to fundraise and pay bills etc. IDK, that's spaghetti against a wall.